Hold on. Welcome back to the boys. Sorry, uh, this is not the boys. This is hop sauce. Hop maybe. sauce. Yes. Brian, I, I have some special sauces for you today. I flew 3,000 miles for this. Just, for, just, just for, for this. this. Just for Nothing this. Else. Now, you and I, <laughs> we we know uh, the boys on YouTube. We're fans of boys, as you can see. I got my hands on some of the boys' hot sauce. Now, the boys, they like to try a lot of hot sauce. They utilize hot sauce in a lot of their videos. And torture and, themselves. And torture themselves. They made their own hot sauces, and each hot sauce it represents a different boy and a different level of heat. I yes. Think. So we're gonna try them all today. Good. <laughs> there's because there's a lot. They were the inspiration behind mine and Matt's hot gummy bear video. Go check that out. It was torture. I bet it was. I've never done that, <laughs> and I don't plan on doing it. I don't recommend it. It was worse <laughs> than the gum. I. Doubt that, but no, it, it really. Works. Anyway, we're gonna try some sauce. So the first one we have here is narrator, is narrator which is the yeah. sweet sting honey garlic. Because in his videos, he always says hello, honey bunches. So he has a honey based sauce. <laughs> so I'm excited to try it. You can see all the little pepper flakes in it too. Oh god. It's oh like geez. Fucking <laughs> chunky. That's a glop. I was gonna say you really got a nice glop over there. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh. It's Is actually, it more honey based? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that. That's really honey based. Wow, that's really good. You can like glaze a ham with this. Oh my god. Oh, honey is honey and light brown sugar, cane sugar oh, and molasses are literally the first two ingredients on the list. That makes a lot of sense. Apple cider vinegar, eight percent mm. acidity, soy sauce. Oh yeah. Water, wheat, soybean salt, sodium, benzite, less than one tenth of one percent as a preservative. Water, garlic ginger puree crushed red pepper and then the thickener i loved that this is this is a glaze yes this, this is 100 percent a glaze it is honey so, garlic glaze it is so good i can taste the Dude. honey i can taste the soy sauce i can taste the brown sugar i can taste it's delicious it is, that is really good but that is so it is there's it, so much you could do with it yes you can do you can like make a marinade you can use it for a glaze you can kind of make wings. i can honestly for what i do is when i make a pork tenderloin I air fry it. I can easily use that oh. to make it as a pork tender mm. one. That is amazing. Not even hot. No. Barely even hot. It definitely is a one out of five. It definitely, it definitely a one out of ten for heat. And a one which out is of good. Ten. Which makes <laughs> sense because narrator can't really have hot, hot, hot sauce, sauce because of his gerd. I am here to destroy your gerd. Ooh, please, Mr. Reaper, no. <laughs> so that's why he has a sauce that he can probably eat. <laughs> So next is Mully's. It's called the Butt Bubbler. And I'm excited. Fire roasted tomatoes, onions, and jalapenos. This is the two out of five. In a secret location, I combine the finest tomatoes with rich garlic cloves and sharp Parmesan. The hottest, most fragrant spice, fragrant, sorry, spicy peppers and other secret and epic ingredients. This is the Butt Bubbler. If you consume this hot sauce, then your butt will be bubbling. That's it. That's the story. That's literally what it says. Now, Mully used to also be a chef before he became a YouTuber. So this is probably going to be real. So good. I'm really excited to try this. Plus, Mully is, unpopular opinion, Mully is my favorite boy out of the five. Sorry. Not sorry. Never apologize. I've been looking forward to this one. This one I think is going to be the best. The tastiest. You got this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Got one of the chunks. Sounds like a hot tomato sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah, it smells like yeah, it smells like stuff for spaghetti. That's literally what it is. Yeah. It's like a hot tomato sauce. I might use that for soup. Good soup. That is very subtle, very easy. That's not hot either. It's not hot at all. At all. No, but it is absolutely tasty. I can easily see that for spaghetti. For like a an additive to your salt your pasta your sauce. sauce. It's perfect. Hot pizza. A hot pizza. Very savory. Yeah. It's very and this good. is a lot. So this is definitely like you could tell it's more like the consistency of honey. This is more like the consistency of like a sauce. Yes. Or like a thicker like a thick sauce, I should say. Some hot sauces are very liquidy. So far two for two on uh, I flavor. like them both. They're really good. So now we go to Josh. Josh the gut, the gut grenade. Green serrano peppers, garlic, and onions. In the jungle's depths, I stumbled upon an ancient recipe etched into stone for a warning of a sauce so potent it could fuel rockets. I concocted gut grenade. Using this ancient formula, birthing a hot sauce of explosive flavor said to have secured victories in ancient culinary wars. Ooh. So it is, as you can see, it's a 
more of a verde sauce. It looks more liquidy than the other two. Yeah, it's more thinner than, than so, the other two, but I personally, I like thin sauces. But let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. The Josh of Dub gut grenade. It smells almost like a salad dressing. Oh, yeah. It Ah, yeah. I can smell the vinegar. It tastes like a salad dressing. It tastes really good. It is it's, good it's a lot hotter. It's a big step up. Even but though it's not that It's very nice. flavorful. It it's is not, full of flavor. It's not like, uh, I'll just say gut wrenching, but it's not like painful hot. No, it's, it's nice, not. Nice it, it, it's very subtle. It's, it's like a it's like a 3.5 by 10. For yes, eat. I would agree. Yeah, something like that. This would be great. Like a I, like car carnitas it, tacos or something yeah, like that. I could see that. That'd be perfect. It's very vinegary though. Like I like the first thing I thought of was like a house salad. It's very vinegary, but it's all, it also has spice, just a little, a hint of spice, and it's great. It's no, but flavorful, it's, but it's good. It, it's, it's so good. I think he picked the right pepper to go with for like a medium, like a medium down, yeah, like a medium road heat level. Yeah, this um, is serrano great. peppers are like good flavor and enough kick for you to actually like enjoy, like a like a spicy meal. Now this is the one I've been wanting to try. The Mexorcist. Eddie. I think Eddie's my favorite boy. Eddie VR. Eddie is my favorite boy. And he has the Mextrasis. Uh, tomatillos, chiles, and smoked paprika. Ooh. This recipe is inspired by my mother. It honors my Mexican roots in a few words. Bold, spicy, and savory. The Mextrasis is a blend of chile de, ar de arbol, guajillo peppers. Okay. I hope that's right. I believe it. And garlic. I recommend pouring it on your tacos, steaks, or chips. Ooh, chips. Disfruta. Means enjoy. At least that's what it says here. You know Spanish more than I do, so. Dude, I had to speak Spanish, like, <laughs> hardcore Spanish the other day at work. And even, like, the people that were with me were like, oh, shit, I didn't know he really didn't, <laughs> didn't know he can hablo like that. <laughs> didn't know he can hablo. <laughs> so this Not is... enough to argue, but enough to get through. Ooh, this is a very chunky song. This is the Mexorcist. Now, the reason why he calls it the Mexorcist, or he's known as the Mexorcist, because he plays a lot of horror games in VR. It really good, though. And, uh... He's Mexican. Um, thicker sauce. It does smell a little bit spicier on the nose, but it's not like pungent. I know I said that in the last video, but it's Ooh. <coughs> bold. Very thicker, yeah. Bold up front. Yeah. Definitely more paste. I don't want to say pasty because that sounds really negative. No, no. It sounds negative. No, this is great. It, it, it's in a good way. It's almost like a... It almost has like almost, a chipotle yeah. in a way. Just a little bit. Not... Not too much, but it is. It's not even that hot. It's not hot. It's not that hot either. It's like it's for like a level a four a level out of ten. Four, a four out of five. This is like super enjoyable. It's so good. I can see this on a heartier dish. Yes. If you wanted to make, or if you wanted to make a softer dish, like a light protein, like chicken or something like that, I can see you using this to make it more of a hearty, bold flavor. I think it's delicious. I want to try that on a burger. You could probably do like, like a Southwest style burger. Yeah, like this. a like a yeah with like cheddar cheese. Oh. Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack or Cheddar. Yes. This is the last one. This is Juicy Sauce, the Taste Bud Trauma. Five juicy out of five. Jalapenos, red habaneros, and garlic. Now, this is the only one I think is going to actually, like, be hot. Be hot because hot. he knows his hot. Because Juicy, juicy likes knows his hot sauce. Ju and Juicy's part of the. He loves the pain. He lives for it. Although addictingly delicious, this particularly hot bottle of sauce is only made possible due to our most secretive ingredients. Tears of a grown man. <laughs> 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 That's all it's said. <laughs> all crying and tear gathering is done at our state of the art, fully humane, free range crying farm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gonna, I'm gonna read the ingredients on this one just because that okay. that description doesn't give much. Tears. Uh, besides tears, uh, pure, pure cane sugar, water, jalapeno pepper puree, red habanero pepper puree, red bell pepper, garlic, and distilled vinegar, twenty percent acidity, and then granulated garlic is the last one. Okay. This one looks a lot. This one, I think, is gonna be thin like this one. I think this is the thickest sauce out of all five of them. I agree. I think yeah, between but these two, yeah, they're the. Thickest. I think this will be the thinnest. I think that one's gonna have a little more consistency. But we'll see. Now, Juicy yeah. is is known f on the internet as the No No Square guy. In case you you want, you're wondering. That's what he's famous for. AKA the Don't Touch Me. No No. Don't, don't touch, touch Me there. there. This is my No No Square. This is my No No Square. This one has a little bit more of a. Then his of uncle a gets him. This one has a little bit more of a sting to the scent. Not terrible, but it does. It, it's way more than the others. I'm gonna smell through here. Oh yeah, that smells like a hot sauce. What? It's sweet. Yeah, it's. Oh, that's good. For the hottest sauce, 
I mean, now I'm I'm getting the heat. In the it's back. a slow burn, but it's good. Um, it is actually tasty. Actually, one of the well, I guess when cane sugar is your pure cane sugar is your first ingredient, it's going to be primarily sweet. Probably. This is definitely your sweet heat sauce. Um, that is very interesting. That is a very unique sauce. It's one of the most unique sauces I've ever. I think had. you can make a, an interesting like beef marinade with this. You could. It'd be really hot, but you could. How I describe this sauce, juicy sauce, it's like every single like, oh, this is the ass blaster. This is bad for your anus. Like every sauce that you can think of that is just like, it's just hot for hotness sake. It has that heatness, but it is sweet. It's like a honey sweet, almost like a, a sugary honey uh, sweet to it at first when it hits you. But I would say- It's unique. It's good. It's really good. But I would say it's like a- Maybe a five or six out of ten in the heat scale. I probably gave it a six. It's not. It's not unbearable, but it is significantly hotter than the rest. Of it, it is. It is definitely a step up from the Mexican A big step up. It is definitely hotter, but it's definitely not the hottest sauce. But it's good. It's tasty. Now, and that's what I'm all for. Taste is very key. Now, where can people find these sauces? Not the boys dot store. You can get this shirt on the boys dot store, but you can get this at hunk. At hungryboy.com, I think. Hungryboy.food. Um, but yeah, also, by the way, since I bought these hot sauces, Brian, I have a gift for you. Oh, since gee. you're a fan of the boys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I have this for you that came was, with the hot sauce. You know what's funny? I was looking at this when we were filming the last video and trying to figure out what it is. So when you buy all the hot sauces, you actually get that for free with the hot sauces because you buy a whole bunch. I bought two sets. I'm gonna ruin this box. I got mine right here. Oh, is it the pin? It's a pin. Is it the same pin or is it a different pin? It's the same. Oh. It's a little it's a little pin for like your lanyard oh. or something. I'm ripping it from the wrong side. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That's really cool, I like that. So go check out the boys on YouTube, not on Amazon Prime, on YouTube. Are they also on Amazon Prime? No, no, that's a different boys. Oh. It's the other show. Oh. It's the comic series. I should, I should have known that. But the boys on YouTube, go check them out. They have some incredible merch, incredible comfortable merch. And incredible um, videos. Incredible content. I'm a member. If you join to be a member, you get some exclusive content and you get some discounts on the store. So highly recommend checking them out. Great hot sauces. One of the best YouTube products I think I've ever had. And we've done a good few on the channel. We've done a lot. This is some of the best hot, hot sauces uh, that I think I've ever had. They're, they're, they're de definitely the tastiest. One of some of the tastiest. Please go check them out. Go check out their store. Go check out their sauce. And go check out their page. And check out their page. And uh, we, yeah, I mean, this is like the second video we've done <laughs> in reference to them. Obviously, it just says something about their content. Yeah, we're big fans, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.